In the previous episode, we heard from a diagnostic medical physicist about her journey to finding medical physics. In part two, you'll hear more about the process of applying to a medical physics program. I came to the United States when I was 18, almost 19. I attended a small liberal arts college in Lancaster, Pennsylvania called Franklin and Marshall College. I loved the small class sizes and the accessibility of faculty. I knew from day one that I wanted to major in physics and mathematics, so that's what I ended up doing. During the summer of my junior year, I participated in a research project with my physics professor. We studied orthopositronium decay using analytic techniques in C++. But towards the end of my junior year, I really had to start acting fast on my next steps after graduation. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I had thought about mechanical engineering, audiology, and becoming a medical doctor. All I knew was that I wanted to apply my knowledge of physics and mathematics in the field of medicine. So I did the next best thing a millennial knows to do. I pretty much Googled what can I do with mathematics, physics, and medicine. Medical physics. That was one of the first things that popped up on the screen. Medical physics, huh? What is medical physics? But I understood that if I wanted to pursue medical physics, I had to start by applying to graduate schools that offered it. I learned that there were universities that were CAMPEP accredited and ones that were not. I tried as much as possible to group up all the ones that were CAMPEP accredited and apply to them. There were some prestigious schools on my list that were not CAMPEP accredited. I applied to those as well. Most of the universities had the requirement of taking the general GRE. Most did not require the physics GRE. What they were looking at, for, at least for me when I was applying, uh, was a proof of a physics or physics related major. Having majored in mathematics also helped my case. Of course, a strong application letter, solid faculty references, and a great GPA factored in very strongly. Showing other sides of myself like volunteer or leadership positions that I had held demonstrated how well-rounded of a student I was. So in the end, I sat and waited for the result of my application. In the end, I chose to go to the University of Wisconsin-Madison because of the strength and experience of the department. I had the option to either get a master's alone or a master's and PhD. I chose to get a master's and PhD. I also had the option of choosing whether I wanted to go down the clinical or imaging track. I chose the clinical track. In saying clinical track, I actually mean to say clinical radiation therapy. But in order to pursue a PhD, I first had to find a professor who would fund my research assistantship, a professor with whom I would do my research. This is how students who pursue PhDs do not have to worry themselves about tuition. It is covered through one's research assistantship. But first, it's important to research the interests of the different professors and reach out to them. It helps immensely if you can network beforehand through visits, shadowing, or even summer rotations or projects in the field. I didn't network directly at first. However, once accepted into the program, there was an open house that brought together newly accepted students and current professors. This was a great opportunity to network, ask questions, and most importantly, leave a strong impression on professors who may fund you. I found the Biomagnetism Lab. It was there that I would spend the next years looking at the magnetomechanical properties of the human fetal heart using both ultrasound and a superconducting quantum interference device, or the SQUID for short. In case you're wondering, my research had nothing to do with radiation therapy, but still, that uh, lab was within the medical physics department. So I did my research all while on the clinical track in the medical physics department. It was being on the clinical track that gave me the opportunity to take classes and labs in radiation therapy. My experience was therefore unique in that my research and my classes were in two different fields. I loved it. But every institution is different, and this was just my experience. <laughs>